Okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, put some uh, natural elements from the earth that actually come from the earth and from bo animals like bone bone meal into the, some soil, and uh, it's got some dirt in it, and I actually recommend taking a tiny bit of the dirt which there already is left up there and putting it into the pot but anyway we're gonna mix and it's gonna go two scoops of bone meal this is bone meal here and we'll put that aside and then here we have kelp meal and we're gonna just take one scoop of kelp meal and then we got rock phosphate this is where the phosphorus would come from, I assume, being rock phosphate and phosphorus. And we're going to take one of those, and then we're going to take some blood meal. And this is going to be where the nitrogen and the trace elements of iron are going to come from. We're going to put that in there. And then we're going to take just some canola meal. And this is just an organic base that will just help decompose things and get things working all together maybe like a catalyst might do or something and then we're going to have some uh green sand which is going to be your uh potassium it's going to supply your potassium so and the reason i've put a little extra amount of of bone meal in there is actually because bone meal is a lot like it's got calcium in it. it's a lot like dolomitic lime and it acts as a buffer zone if you were to happen to over fertilize it, it can act as an actual buffer zone. So now that I've got this in there, I'm just going to kind of mix it all up nicely. Ah, and you can smell it. And then I'll take a little bit of soil or water and I'll trickle a bit of water on it. This is getting muddy. We're going to get muddy. Okay. Then I just kind of get the... It's not that muddy, actually. It's not like a kid's mud pie, which is too bad, because mud pies are really, really fun. <laughs> okay. So now we've got something that has a, has a structure to it. We've got... Uh, it's got soil, soil structure. Soil structure is important. So now I'm going to take this... I'm going to put one load, like so, and I'm going to spread it around, like so, okay, and that's going to be, that's our new base. Okay, now we're going to, we're going to place this, the one we've been taunting the roots and brutalizing the roots of we're going to take it and we're going to put it back and a little trick that somebody showed me before I put it back what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a a bit of water and I'm just going to kind of dump it and it's going to it's going to wash some dirt off and and uh, it's just going to kind of clean any any excess maybe bit of gipe off there so I dumped a bit of water on there and then I see the see how it brings down any it brings down any thing hanging here which I can get rid of for one All right and that'll go there like so now now what we'll do is we'll push these corners down and then I will walk back over, I'll step out, and I'll get a little bit more of our topsoil here. Okay, so I just grabbed a handful of the, the or, organics and stuff that I uh, just mixed with the rock phosphate and the green sand, the bone meal, the blood meal, and the kelp meal. And these are all organic substances that will naturally break down and, and give the plant, the tree, a source of minerals and vitamins that it requires. And now that, now that by the end of summer will be covered 
in moss. So after, now we've got that part done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press these corners in quite tight. And then I'm going to take a, a wee bit of water and I'm just going to slowly put it around it. Like so. And that is that, except a person always wants to remember to have some drainage holes in their pot.